Hello, everybody. It is Jared Gucci, Mr. Internet Tips, and it's Wednesday, so it's What's Up Wednesday. And uh, today, I actually want to talk about 10 tips that you can do to drive your fan page on Facebook. And I'm going to move through these tips very quickly because uh, I don't I don't really care for long videos, so I don't want to give you a long video. So let's get right in. Okay, number one, be unique. Really, really important. Don't say the same stuff that your competitors are saying. Be unique. Think about what makes your business different and talk about it on your fan page. Number two, don't use a generic landing page. By default, when you set up your fan page, it's going to default to the wall page. Facebook actually gives you the ability to, to select which page is going to be the default. So if you have a custom page that kind of welcomes your fans in, you can use that as the default tab, or maybe you want to default it to your pictures page, your videos page, events, info, but don't be generic. Okay, number three, give something away quickly. This one's a good one. You want to grow your fan base, and the best way that you can do that is by giving back to your community and also people in the same niche. So the things that you can do is you can give education, you can offer free eBooks, but give something away quickly, get them engaged. Number four, use a large profile picture. Facebook gives you the ability to upload a photograph in your sidebar area that's a maximum size of 200 pixels wide by 600 pixels long. So really take advantage of that space and of course you can get your company logo in there if you are the brand get a picture of yourself telephone number if you want to put some addresses to some other social media sites get that as well but take advantage of that space because that's a lot of space okay number five tag fans in photos if you have the uh, if you have a storefront and uh, you have the ability to actually take photographs of your customers or perhaps video testimonials tag them in that content because what it's going to do is they're going to get notified that they've been tagged and they're going to come to your page look at the content and chances are they're going to comment and or share it with some of their friends tagging very powerful okay number six use contests uh, you may have seen it on several fan pages but you can actually run a contest to kind of grow your fan base and usually for less than a hundred dollars you can uh, create a really powerful contest that gets not only the fans you already have engaged but also spreads to people that may not be a fan of your page and kind of brings them over into your stream number seven integrate multiple social networks that you belong to there's lots of great Facebook applications that allow you to incorporate uh, some of the what other social platforms that you're members of like Twitter Flickr uh, you can also incorporate your LinkedIn profile so try to get some of the other content your blog you can get that in on your fan page but try to get some of the other content that you have out there on the web into your fan page Again, engagement, you want your fans engaged. More content, more engagement, more valuable content. Okay, number eight, thank people for becoming your fan. So you'll, you'll notice if, if you watch it closely as you're growing your fan base, you want to actually thank people. And it's very simple, you can do it with a comment or you could even automate it by giving something away that once they decided to like your page, I keep saying fan, but uh, I'm really stuck on that. But once they decide to like your page and become a liker of your page, you can give them something, whether it's a thank you, or maybe you have an ebook or a white paper that you want to share with them, uh, give them something. Okay, number nine, don't treat your fans or likers like kids. Facebook has become a very professional marketing tool for business owners. Don't think of your audience as kids. Treat them like professional working adults and talk to them like that. Number 10, this is probably the most important and that's why I saved it for last. And it's very, very simple. It's the easiest one. Be consistent. I can't tell you how many fan pages. They get created, they get you know, 40, 50 fans, they're very active on it, and then nothing for months Facebook is a daily routine. Engagement is a daily routine. And when I say daily, I mean five days a week during the work week. You need to continuously you need to continuously touch your audience and let them know that you're out there. And you need to touch them with good, valuable content. So 
consistent, consistent, consistent status updates on your fan page. Okay, hope this was helpful. This was 10 really easy engagement tips and strategies that you can use on your fan page. There is a blog post link in the description of this video if you want to read these in more detail. But again, thank you for tuning in to What's Up Wednesday, and we will see you next week.